Hi, Christ is love. What is love? You know it when you feel it. Yes? yes? You can surrender to it, but you can't create it. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. You can surrender to it, but you can't create it. It is all-encompassing. It's an energy that makes everything okay. It can be directed. It can be accessed. It exists before you. It is in you. It is greater than you. It is all that you are. It is all you are in. And you have the power to deny access to it. You have the power to deny yourself access, and you have the power to deny others. Take a breath. We are taught that Mother God is wisdom, Father God is force, and child, the Christ, the child, Mother God, Father God, created Christ, child, is love. Jesus Christ came to the planet to show us the love that is within all of us, that we are the children of God. So if we are the Christ child, we are therefore all love. How simple. Love makes everything right. Christ is love. Jesus Christ is love. <coughs> Do you realize when Jesus spoke to the people, they either loved him or hated him? Mm -hmm. They either loved him or they hated him. They either surrendered to the energy that he brought, or they denied it access. How simple is this? They surrendered to it or denied it access. They could not uncreate it. They could not create it. It is. So, allowing access, you acknowledge a greater energy, a greater picture, and a greater purpose. You become one with this energy that you are in, that you are a part of. It is bigger than you. You let your will and limitations go to flow with the greater. All the love I need is right here, right now, if I open to it and allow it. Because I am love. Simple. You already know all this, yes? Yes. And you live as if you know it? No. Okay. <laughs> When Spirit was working with me during this week and before about looking at the topic of love, they said to begin to look at it as oneness. Um, I was shown, when I talk about Spirit, uh, guides, teachers, speaking to me. They said, we think of love, I love you. In a way that is, I am human, you are human, and we will connect via this thin strand of love. You know, we are now creating this connection that of, I love you, you love me. It's this energy. And they said, even in that sense of love, when you love that way, there is still separation. Because I am still here, and you are still there, and yet I am sending you energy, and you're sending me energy. There's this sense of separation. Do you understand? And if you're not conscious of the flow, how often does the flow diminish? Did I not love you a minute ago? I have things to do over here. Oh, yes, I love you. I have things to do over here. And the flow atrophies a little bit. Right? Okay. Have you been around someone who shut you down and denied you access? Yes. It's quite shocking, isn't it? It's quite shocking. You don't know what to do. I remember when Patrick and I first started dating, he thought I was absolute perfection. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was a daughter. I was divine, I was fabulous, and he adored me. He adored me. So one day, he said, bring me this. He was working, he was a carpenter at the time. This is Olo many years ago. He was a carpenter, and he was working on a project. He said, I need you to bring me something at lunch. And of course, I'm doing my work. So I, I went to work, and I was greeted by this man that I did not know. Pencil hanging out of his mouth. Have you ever seen him work? <laughs> and he is not there. I do not exist in that moment as I look in his eyes. And I went... And he went, did you bring the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Patrick, it's me. You adore me. You love me. 
not in this moment. In that moment, I did not exist. He had shut me out, and what did I do immediately? I shut down. No, I shut down. And I said, I don't like you when you work. <laughs> and I told him as much. I do not like you when you work, because you don't, you, you don't adore me anymore. What's wrong with you? <laughs> But look at what we're looking at. We're looking at that space between, that space between. He shut me out, I shut down. Access denied. Access to his love was denied in that moment. Have you had those experiences, even with someone that adores you and you love them? Okay. So what we want to do is begin to lift our energy just a little bit. When you stay in this situation of being shut out and then shutting down, you end up in a loveless relationship. Have you ever let your relationship become loveless? Mm -hmm. We all do. And then we have to rally the troops and get back with God and figure out what we need to do, and then we can get it back on track again. But this is the idea of this kind of love. Okay? All right. God says. Now, when I say God says, I mean God says. I don't mean they. I mean this came right down the pike from God. You ready? And I don't say God says very often. God says. Love is not something you give away. Love is something you are. So if we can begin to really realize love is something I am. All right. When you are, or you are a divine, unique expression of God, you are love, and when you share love with another, you are moving into a oneness, and there is no separation. Oneness. No separation when you share love. There's no distance. There's oneness. So think about it when you feel God's love. When you feel God's love, when you feel that love of God pouring through you, and you're just, oh, I feel, everybody's felt it? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like God's sending you a little trickle? Mm -hmm. Or do you feel like you're engulfed in this beautiful energy of God love, and it fills every thought you have? And it may last for a second, five minutes. Wish it lasted all day. <laughs> But in that moment when you're feeling it, you are one with God. And is everything right? And is everything perfect? And it's, oh, thank you, God. I needed that. I needed to feel you again. Oneness. And in that moment, is there a doubt you're loved by God? Because you are in love with God. Not in love with God. In love with God. So, as we begin to move our idea of love from this exchange into this space of oneness, we can actually begin to have a new relationship with people we love and with ourselves on the planet. Okay. They said, If God is in you, you are always one with Creator. What if we begin to think of love as moving into the oneness with one another? And I know some of you will say, oh, no, I'm not moving into oneness with that person. I know you thought it. <laughs> but if we align with God and we are feeling oneness with God, then we can open our receptivity to move into oneness with others, but realize People love Jesus or hated him, right? Mm -hmm. When you're moving in oneness with God, people will be drawn to you or rejected by you, or re reject you. Mm -hmm. So when we're moving into oneness with God and then open to move into oneness with another, if they choose not to, do you care? If they choose to, whose energy are they moving into? And yours. God's and yours. We're being our unique light. We're one with God, and we are open to sharing that experience with another. Then they will come and resonate, or they will move away. And that's love. That's when you're really sharing an experience of love with someone. Jesus held the frequency, others responded to it. Jesus held the frequency, and others responded to it. If you have to lower your frequency or become what you are not, how can you feel oneness with another? If you have to be different than who you are in order to come into oneness with someone, 
you're not becoming one with them because you're not you. You've lowered yourself. So that's not oneness, is it? You're not going to feel good about it, are you? Okay. When you are your loving self and you are with another in their Christ love self, you can actually become greater together. If you are alive with love, that is all that you can come into resonance with. Love. What if I love you becomes to mean this? What does it mean now? I love you. How many times do we say it and not mean it? Love you. Throw away. Love you. Doesn't matter. Love you. Yeah, I care about you. Love you. Or when we say it, do we mean? Love you. Love you. There's a string from me to a string to you. We could mean that. What if we meant this? Whenever you are ready, I am willing to share my light with your light in the oneness of God's love. I love you. Whenever you are ready, I am willing to share my light with your light in the oneness of God's love. Isn't that what we mean when metaphysical Christians, we say to each other, love you. Aren't we saying that? Hey, I'm here for you. Whenever you're ready, I'll get in my crash, you get in yours, and we will share that energy. Isn't that what we're saying? Love you. Or it could mean, when I am with you, I feel the oneness of your heart and God's love. When I am with you, I feel that oneness of your heart and God's love. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. You know, when Jesus healed, he, we, we give you the detailed explanation in the healing classes, but energetically, Jesus aligned with Creator, God. God, Father, Mother, Love. He poured it into Himself. The person that stood before Him to be healed had said, Yes, I want access to that. I'm not denying it. I want access. And so Jesus in His love lifted them to meet Him in His oneness and pull them into His oneness, then the love of God could go into their consciousness and iron out all the wrinkles, erase all the faulty thoughts, heal, resurrect, whatever needed to be done for that person, because they were now in the oneness of God together. Do you see? And then He would put them down and say, Go and sin no more. Don't do what you've been doing. Live this life now that has been given to you. But do you feel what he did? He went, God, pull them into his oneness. He did not go into their space. He did not go into their oneness. Oh, you poor thing. Tell me what happened. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hate that for you. You know, it's comforting at that level. But are we really in the love of God? And are we really in that space of the oneness that says love? Pulling it in, lifting it up, being in the energy of God and then allowing someone to meet you at that level is oneness. Um, when I was preparing this uh, and the Spirit was talking to me, they reminded me of a, a beautiful, um, a very odd example of coming into oneness and love with a total stranger. Some of you may understand, but it was 31 years ago when I went into labor and I never had a kid before. I didn't know what was happening. And I went to um, the hospital over here. I was the only pregnant woman there. It was a brand new hospital. And um, they wheeled me in, and the doctor said, you can't be in labor. And the nurse said, oh, yes, she is. <laughs> Put me in. It was 7.30 in the morning. And when the day nurse arrived, the evening nurse was interesting, but when the day nurse arrived, <laughs> I'm in my glory giving birth to this, this love. She is in her glory. She knows what she's doing. And she brought her sense of confidence and love to me. And in that moment, in that room, this nurse and I were together. We were bonded. And she was working with me, and I'm, she's respecting my body, and I'm working with her. All day. I did not give birth till 6.40 that evening. All day. She was loving me. 
And I was blessed because I was the only one giving birth that day. So I had the herd to myself. But I want you to hear what was happening. I came in my complete holy space of love and commitment. And she was in her holy space of love and commitment. And there were no barriers or boundaries between us. And when they finally wheeled me in, and the doctor finally arrived at whatever, 6 o'clock, and they wheeled me in to finally deliver, he scared me. He scared me. He didn't come in with love. Do you hear me? And I'm looking for the nurse. Where's my nurse? <laughs> Where's my nurse? <laughs> okay, because I need her. Because we've got this thing. And I remember when I left... Uh, you know, when we pulled out of that hospital, the visual is still in my mind. I've got the baby, baby, and we're <laughs> driving home. And I said to his dad, I said to Mike, how could I love someone so deeply as I love that nurse? And this is the day later. He goes, I don't know, she's just doing her job. I'm like, no, I love her. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> And I would have, if she had asked me for anything, I would have given her anything, you know. And today I can't remember her name, but for years I could. Do you hear? When she was in her energy and I'm in my energy and we moved together, we were in oneness. Oneness. So it doesn't have to be someone you know. It can be anybody that we can have this experience with. When we are in our glorious, beautiful, unique God self and someone is in theirs, the merging can happen. The oneness can happen. So, don't you feel that that would be a great way to have our relationships? Mm -hmm. So, and uh, just a, another wee little thing that I've shared with you many times. You know, we are human, Patrick. And, we're we're not human. We're divine. <laughs> Cancel that. We're divine. <laughs> but sometimes we get tired. And I know that 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 one example, that one day, that's still in my mind. I was laying on the couch, I was so exhausted, and I curled up to Patrick and I said, I need, I need to feel your love right now. I love you. Now I need to feel your love. I love you. I said, Patrick, send me some love. <laughs> he goes, okay. Shut his eyes, took a breath, and this blanket just came over me. And I said, that's what I needed. He just took a minute to, to actually send it. And in that moment, I was going, yes, I want access. <laughs> and it was flowing, and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Do you see how powerful it can be? <coughs> you are always loved. So these are the few little things for you to remember. Please, do you think you could become aware of when you shut down? Mm -hmm. Do you think you could come up with a different response when someone shuts you out? Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Even just to be aware, I just got shut out. What could I do that would be different rather than shutting down? If we know we are one with God, maybe we could go there. I don't want to get, I don't want to shut down, I want to know I'm one with God. God said, love is not something you give away, love is something you are. So you're very free. So I'm going to tell you Cindy's story. And this is not about you at all. If you happen to see yourself in my story, that's not my fault. <laughs> A man wrote a book many years ago, 10 years ago or so, and I adored it. There was something that was fabulous and wonderful. And I wrote him a letter and I said, oh my God, I'm so glad you wrote this book. This is what we teach. This is what we believe. I'm so excited. Yes. And several months later, I got just a little response back that said, thank you for your interest and good luck to you. I'm like, great. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, I got a phone call and it was the author. And he said, maybe a week ago, he said, Hey, Cindy, how's it going? Like my friend. Haven't talked to you in 11 years. 
Got your letter going through the files. Okay. Looking at, well, how are you and Pat doing? Did you ever build that church? And we're just chitty chatting. I'm going, oh, this is great. I'm chitty chatting, chitty chatting. So we're having a great conversation. And then he um, says, oh, we're talking about all the countries he's been visiting. He's been doing spiritual work across the world. You know, talking to the Mother Earth. And of course, what do we do every now and then, guys? So it's like, oh, that's our brother from another country. Yay. So anyway, this just I'm excited. I'm so excited and, and hang up. And so then or last week or so, the energy started shifting. And I'm thinking, this is somebody that really sees the bigger picture because he's out there. And I'm right here doing the work. But, I, y'all, I get stuff from Spirit all the time, and I don't know what it means. It's like, bump, 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 bump. But, and if I try to interpret it, I would be wrong. Because every time I see that stuff play out, it plays out slightly differently. But I don't get the big picture. They just say this, 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 and this. And I'm thinking, well, this might be a good connection. So I emailed him and I said, hey, I've been seeing this, this, and this. Do you have any idea what's happening since you're in the world all the time? And he emailed me back and then I sent my comments back and that was it. And then he called. I went, oh, he called. Little Cindy. Oh, he wants to be my friend. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I called back. And you guys know me, if I'm excited about something and trying to share information, do I not? <laughs> so we're chatting, and then I said to him, someone brought me, I didn't say this to him, but one of you all brought me some information that I had no knowledge of, and it reminded me of his book. So I'm talking to him, I said, hey, you know that character in your book? And then I asked him a question about the character in his book. And then he went into a conversation very briefly, and then he goes, um, yeah, yeah, well, um, well, Cindy, you know what, you're great, um, but you're still caught in the drama, and uh, I know you've got a client to get to, and I've got to go, and I went, thank you, and then I said, okay, I've got to go now, so access denied, he shut me down, he shut down, he shut, what's my words? See, I'm in it still. Yeah. He denied me access. <laughs> and he said I was still in the drama. And I shut down. And I said, good to talk to you. Goodbye. And he said, I scout with people periodically. Maybe we could stay in touch from time to time. I gotta go. I didn't even say I'll talk to you later. I didn't even say that sounds good. I gotta go. So I got the phone. And I went, and he verified I wasn't drama because I went, what do you mean I'm in the drama? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you that I was great and spiritual in that moment and I was not. <laughs> and I cried. I just wanted a friend. I just wanted a friend that I could talk to about all this crazy stuff that I get that might help me understand it, that's out in the world doing all the work. And then I said, suck it up, Cindy. Get over it. I sucked it up. My client appeared. I started the pray in with my client. She's a beautiful girl. And I went, oh my God. <coughs> I am bringing in God love. She is coming into my space with her drama. And I said, God, in that moment, God, I thank you with all my heart that I am in this chair and able to walk with her through her drama, to bring her into your heart so she can heal. And I'm grateful for every person that I've ever sat across to help in their drama. And I am grateful for everything I have learned. And I would not not be here for anything. I wouldn't have missed one person to be traveling the world and doing all the stuff that he was doing. I wouldn't miss one person. And for me... I'm still going to get the downloads. I'm still going to write them in the book and not know what they mean. <laughs> but I'm going to be okay with that. Because we are here, all of us are here, to heal this emotional body, to heal our beautiful creative natures. And sometimes we are dramatic. And sometimes we need to be dramatic to create. And there is nothing wrong. And there are moments when we need someone to hold that love of God for us, to lift us into their oneness. 
Do you all hear me? We need this. And then it took me a couple of days to send him loving blessings. <laughs> because I'm still in my drama. But I did. I did. So, it is not an unattainable mission that we are on. But it is a mission that if we stop honoring and respecting where we are and what's in front of us, we will fall out of love. Because we are perfect, divine children of God. We are love in motion. We are love. So recognize when access is denied. Recognize when you shut down. Try not to move into that if you can. Just send love, God love, send it. And get back where you can move into oneness with someone at your level of consciousness. Is it so easy? Did you like my story? Yes. Did you see yourself in my story? A couple people. All right. Let's take just a minute to go within so if you put your feet on the floor. Father, Mother, God, we open our hearts. Today is a day of celebration for us. Today is a day that we are choosing to truly be that love that is within us. So I ask that each one of you begin to feel your own heart opening. And I want you to just tap into the gratitude that you have for your own space. I am grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my life. And for you. And we welcome all of those beautiful angels that guide us. And in this moment, God, help us to turn our lights on. I would invite each one of you to feel the light I am within you. And let it begin to shine. And lift up into that beautiful radiance of your divinity. And let it shine. I am ready to share love in that beautiful oneness. I am ready to share love in your heart, God. And I let separation go. And as you feel the light shining, just allow your awareness to go to one person. Let one person come forward that you can just feel that oneness with. And just feel that it is good. And now we let them go and take a breath and we're going to send our light out to the universe. But we are one with all that is. And we love you, God. Let your focus come back into your body, back into your chair. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Well, I hope you have been inspired to love in a different way. I hope that when you feel yourself doing the old familiar love, you recognize it. And I hope that when you want to move into oneness, you make sure you are you. Can we try? Yes. Say you got it. Yeah. yeah.